Hello Ravens, welcome to this week's edition of Game Day Northwest. My name is Jake Taylor alongside Brooke Todd. This week we have recaps of girls soccer games against Shawnee Mission South and Shawnee Mission Northwest and the baseball game against Free State. We also have overviews of swim and dive, track and field and softball. Let's get started. The softball team is hosting the Sunfire League Festival at this SC back this week. Northwest had a doubleheader yesterday as they took on St. Thomas Aquinas in Game 1. Riley DeMauro and Zach Clay have the story. On three, one, two, three, Tony! Yesterday, the Lady Raven softball team took on St. Thomas Aquinas and St. James. In the first game against Aquinas, the Saints were able to score first, going up 1-0. The Ravens were able to respond quick after triples from Shayna Espy and Jordan Richards, which gave the Ravens a 4-1 lead. Pitcher Aubrey Heron was able to dominate Aquinas, only allowing one more run in the game. The Ravens' offense continued to be strong, eventually beating the Saints 12-2. Stay tuned for highlights of the Ravens' next game against the St. James Thunder. For Riley tomorrow, this has been Zach Clay. Now back to the desk. Last week, the Lady Ravens soccer team hosted Shawnee Mission South at Seaback. Let's send it over to Parker Ralston and Matt Vandersize for the report. Number three, Riley Pickworth. The Lady Ravens took on the Shawnee Mission South Raiders last Thursday here at Seaback. The Ravens had a strong start to the game, scoring just three minutes into the game with a cross from Tatum Heller to Brooke Todd. The Ravens kept the offense going, and Tatum Heller stole the ball from the goalie and scored the second goal of the first half. In the second half, the Raiders came out strong, scoring in the 57th minute of the game. Five minutes later, the Ravens fouled inside the box, and the Raiders tied the game with a penalty kick. The game went into double overtime, but stayed 2-2, ending in a tie. The Ravens' next game is tonight against Shawnee Mission Northwest at the Shawnee Mission Activity Center. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Parker Rolson. The girls then traveled to Shawnee Mission on Tuesday to take on Shawnee Mission Northwest Cougars. Now, let's send over to Parker Rawson and Brady Jensen for the breakdown. Number 12, Lauren Coker. The Lady Ravens soccer team is coming off of a 2-2 tie against Shawnee Mission South, and they were looking for a win against Shawnee Mission Northwest. The Ravens had a tough match playing most of the time in midfield and playing great defense. The Ravens had a hard-fought game, but would lose 1-0 with the Raiders getting the shutout. The Ravens will be playing Leavenworth at Seaback on Tuesday at 7 o'clock. So go out and support your Ravens. You guys had some great opportunities to score tonight. Was it just a, luck, was it just a little bit unlucky or was there something that needs to pick? Uh, I think it's a little bit of both. I think, first of all, we played against a team that has an excellent goalkeeper. Uh, she's very good. Uh, we generated chances. We just didn't do a very good job of, uh, of finishing the chances we created. Um, I can't think of them getting more than about two or three shots on frame and one goes in and you lose 1-0. That's why the sport can be pretty tough sometimes. But, um, you know, we, we've got some things to fix. I, I was encouraged by a few things, but uh, I would have liked to have seen us play with a little more sense of urgency around the front of goal tonight. This has been Parker Ralston. Now back to the desk. Solid effort, ladies. The ONW baseball team took on number two ranked Lawrence Free State Firebirds on Tuesday. Brennan Wolford and I were there. The Ravens faced the Free State Firebirds on Tuesday. The Ravens were led by junior pitcher Blake Hearn, who had a very impressive night on the mound. He had seven strikeouts and only allowed two hits through five and a third innings. The bats were alive for the Ravens, having nine hits as a team. Reed Seacat drove in Kyle Potasnik on a triple, and on the very next at-bat, Alan Brown drove in Seacat with a shot to right field, giving the Ravens a 2 to nothing lead. Senior Jack Schrod finished the shutout, giving the Ravens a 2-0 win. The Ravens' next game will be at Blue Valley West against the Jaguars tonight. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Brennan Wilford. Now, back to the studio. The Lady Ravens swim and dive team 
won their try meet against Shawnee Mission North and Shawnee Mission Northwest on Wednesday. That keeps the team undefeated in dual try meets. The track team competed at Shawnee Mission West Invitational last Friday. Here are the second place finishers for Northwest. Brennan Watkins in the 4x1, Elijah Rowland in the 4x1, Julian Lacey in the 4x1, and Tremaine Robinson in the 4x1. Bailey Krause also got second in triple jump, and Melody Baker in the discus and throw. Here are the first place finishers for Northwest. Audrey Fisher in the triple jump, Leah Wellman in the 3200 meter run, and Julian Lacey in the 400 meter dash. That's all we have for you this week, Ravens. For Todd, this has been Jake Taylor. Now have a great week in Ravens.